a truth telling, an engagement in a meaningful way is the first step. The first step of that truth telling is actually making sure that we are heard, we are seen and we are recognised. And that's what we have in Gadigal Station. Councillor Weldon, welcome to Gadigal Railway Station. Can you believe it? I know, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a huge amount of work, a lot of conversations. Again, another type of recognition. Yeah. An important piece that goes to the identity of a local mob. It is such a wonderful change for this whole city and indeed this state and the country. Let me introduce you to Katie, our public arts lead, who's going to tell us all about the artwork that is going to help bring life to the Gadigal Railway Station. Yeah. Councillor Weldon, Katie. Hi Katie. Well, so nice to meet yeah. you. We have an incredible tile artwork by artist Callum Morton, which we can walk across and see now if you'd like oh, to. That sounds great. Metro systems were uh, the first system, transport systems, to include public art on their lines. In the very first metro line built in London, they had they included um, coloured ceramic works, right. and that that was partly because the material is just so robust and long wearing, and so. Um, the materials that this is made out of and the, the use of the colour and the glaze talks to all the other metro mm. systems around the yeah, world. Well. So those tunnels continue yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So they can continual connection yeah. From, yeah. from one continent to the next. Yes, you could look at it like that. I think that's a lovely way of looking yeah. at it. We're beneath the ground here at Martin Place and we're walking along a tunnel called Muru Giligu, which will become part of Sydney's pedestrian network. All right. This is a really exciting yeah. piece of art. It's what I guess you'd call a digital artwork. Yeah. Right. So what we're looking at now, these incredible lights, and there's there is the accompanying soundtrack. It's by Tina Havelock Stevens, is the artist, and she's been working with Indigenous artist um, Eric Avery and Nadi Simpson on the soundscapes. This will run for a while and then there will be other artists who are commissioned oh, nice. to prepare other sound and light artworks for this space. Hi. Oh, this is Mobius. It, it just goes on and on. So the idea is um, here and beyond, I guess. Continuous journey, yeah, exactly. a reliable one on a metro, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We have train stations named after premiers and churches and circular keys, but we haven't had a station named after our First Nations people. It's about time that that occur, and I'm really proud that that's happening in the heart of our city and that our Indigenous leaders were a part of that naming process. The scale of this project is the biggest challenge. This is a mega program of works. It's as large as any other public transport infrastructure project pretty much anywhere in the world. This absolutely brings Sydney up to that same level as those other mega cities around the world. If you look at them, they've all got world-class metros. This is Sydney's world-class metro. The next stop is Waterloo. This is a full stop. We're at Waterloo Station. We have this fantastic artwork by Nicole Monks and her team, Millie Millie. This part of the artwork is about the future for the community and I think Oscar is a magnificent um, emblem of what the future holds, full of hope. Because it is a photograph and it is such an engaging photograph of a young person, people really, really respond to this artwork. First Nations people, Gadigal people are here. It's not about individuals, it's about our collective together. The impact of colonisation started here. This is our ground zero. And the direction that we can make through this station is making that change, not just now, but for future generations. <laughs>